Hi, my name's Brace. Welcome back to VHS Play, where we are playing Kingsfield and recording it on VHS. Um, against my better judgment, I'm going to do one more episode in this recording session um, because I really want to see what what is behind the demons and see if we can get to that east coast. So we're just going to run for it. Oh, geez, there's a creature that's not the way up. Is it? Maybe it is. Alright. Very least it's a roundabout way around. Okay. So. What I want is this one. Man, that range. It's nice having a weapon that actually has, you know, <laughs> more than hit it with your face range. Okay, this is going to be a little bit on the rough side because there's a yeesh that... Okay, got him. So, I'm going to try to show this off real quick, supposedly. I don't know, it's not a demon, it's a log stalker. A heinous monster that attacks people. It used to be a dead tree before it was given a soul by Necron. And it just punched me in the face. Graves, minor graves, ooh. Rhombus key? Yeah, Rhombus key. Oh boy, another well to just drop down haphazardly. Okay. Used to only take one hit with our Morning Star for slimes. Frame rate is so slow. <laughs> Here's the thing, I really don't care about frame rate. Like, personally, if the game's fun, whatever. Like, you know, there has to be the hard limit of the game is playable, but. Like, I really. I don't care in the least about frame rate. Like, between 30, 60, whatever. Like, frame rate's frame rate. Just give me enough frames to play the game. The reason I keep bringing it up is, again, like, it is it is a specific challenge in this game to... I do not have enough for healing. Okay. We're going to use one of these red potions and figure out how much it actually recovers my mana. Not that much. Okay. But yeah, usually I couldn't care about frame rate. I just care because it changes so drastically that it is like it becomes a gameplay element almost. Okay. Oh, that's Veridite. Thank you very much, sir. Get our magic strength up. Okay. <laughs> Just uh, 
little square on the ground. Not actually a well. Let's check all these graves, make sure we're not missing anything. Just a square. And this one's a pit. Looks like that might be our ticket down to the shore. Dangerous. No exit. Except for that one. Okay. Alright. Just a guidepost. We'll take the save because this has been pretty, uh, pretty dangerous. So, I want to finish exploring this cavern, and then I want to drop down that pit. Um, if that no exit is talking about the pit itself, then that means we'd have to gate out, which means we'd end up like back in that central location forever ago. Hey, old man, just stand here near a grave. You came from crystals too? My leg was broken by falling rocks, uh, which killed my friend at the same time. Jeez, man, that's... It's rough. Um, I'm taking care of his grave now. I couldn't find anything of value while I was digging for crystals. Everybody worked hard, but the crystals that we found were barely enough to support our lives. The merchants take advantage of us. Also, we cannot go back to our country because this island is poisoned. Since I broke my leg, I haven't been into the mine. I can live though, because my friend left me enough crystals. However, since Necron came to the island, he has made life very difficult for us. What is your name? <laughs> okay, here we go. Harris Curvito. This is the guy I was supposed to talk to at some point, I think, before going to the East Coast. The first resident on the island. He was a skilled crystal miner before he hurt his leg. Now he lives outside the village, keeping his friend's grave. In the back there are the graves of King Harvine's soldiers. The soldiers were left on the island after Harvine withdrew. Those poor soldiers had believed that Harvine would return for them. I can still hear their voices in my mind. Man, you've got it rough. Recently, I have been dreaming of my youth. That's... That's at least something. Thanks for the crystal guy. Sorry to rob your friend's grave right in front of you. Nothing ever happened. All right. Hey, it's a ghost. Hey, it's another ghost. Hey, it's a square. These ghosts seem a little bit tougher, taking three fireballs. He has anything special or fancy, like that one demon had ver verdite. And by demon, I mean tree stalker. Is that the one? Okay, we have another choice of pit and another crystal. Okay. And now we get to the point where decisions are hard. So we can see the coast, or at least some amount of water down this way. But 
Doesn't look like there's really anything else except for that. Over here we have the one that's got the label near it of danger, no exit. There's something down there. All right, let's do it. Bummer. That something was just a lamp. That's a lot of fish. There's something over here, at least. An arrow. Okay. Hearing things, I think it's just all those fish in the other room. God, walking through here makes me real nervous, just like, is there gonna just be a pit in the ground? Ooh, hey. That's... Maybe a dead end, but... We learned a new water spell. All right. I'm gonna stare at this wall so the frame rate kicks up. Um. Okay. Where did that water crystal go? Jeez, that animation is so much faster with the frame rate up. Oh, that's that's a lot. Uh, let's see. Resist fire. Hey, man, there's a lot more magic that I should be playing around with more. Okay, so it looks like the other drop off will take us into that horrible place full of fish. So now it is time to use our Stargate to return to the save point way the heck back here that has our star key in it. But this is close to town so we can go turn in a bunch of those crystals for our crystal flasks. can check in, see if anybody has anything new to say. Hopefully find the, uh... Come on, be here. Yes! Perfect. To revive the recovering fountain, you need three stones called the Dragon Stones. This crystal ball shows the water flowing out of those three stones. Battle Hammer. Ordinary Weapon. The crystal ball is now trying to say something. Crescent X? Nothing special. Alright. Tell me about this moon guard. Uh, this sh shield has the magical power of holy moonlight. It will automatically recover HP when one equips it. So yes, that is what is uh, recovering my hit points. Great. Anything special about the stone hands? Nope. Oh, hey, health's boat. Elf, elf's bolt. Uh, these powerful arrows are to be used with the Arbalist. These arrows have four attributes, fire, wind, earth, and water. They are by far the best. 
So we have enchanted bolts. Great. If only we had an herbalist to use it. No, let's not check out the dagger. Um, anything about the shrine key? This key made by the High Elves is needed to open the temple. However, you need two of these keys in order to open the door. You need to match the drawing by locating the key stand. Okay, that did not make much sense to me, but all right, silver key. This key allows you to open the normal treasure boxes, but do not be fooled as there are some important items to be found in these boxes. Scorpion's bracelet. When you equip this ring, the probability of being poisoned is reduced. Yes, it's 80 poison resistance, which is great. All right. Tell me about the plume. With this plume, it is possible to use magic without MP for a short duration. All right. That is extremely valuable. We'll do one more pass, make sure that there's nothing else to identify, but I think that should do it. Yeah, that does it. I really wish you would be here more consistently. Okay, so... We'll do a quick run around, make sure nobody has anything new to say. If I had gone to the mine, I might have found many crystals. I don't know if it is important to you, but one crystal miner told me that there is a ball which can find the or a bell which can find the crystals. Interesting. Gigi's father sometimes goes to the big mine to find crystals. I heard it's really dangerous there, so we need to go to the big mine to find Gigi's father. People here go to the big mine for Necron, so we don't have to worry about food, but... I wish we all could live in peace and quiet. Or... okay. Uh, Sandler just came back from Gigi's house and told me that Tio hasn't returned yet. Tio went to the big mine, which is very dangerous. Sandler came back by himself because Gigi didn't want to leave her house. <sighs> There are monsters called Earth Elementals in the Big Mine. Many crystal miners have been killed by them, so please don't go there. Sandler has gotten hasn't Sandler hasn't gotten in I can read, I swear. Um, Sandler hasn't gotten into any trouble so far. I hope he stays nice and quiet. I hope everybody returns from the mine. Okay. So yeah, that's suggesting pretty strongly to go to the big mine. Empty house. Save point, right? Is there really just nothing in this square room? All right. There's the save point. No key inside. Right, that's the drop off to the termite's nest. Um, here we go. Did you go to Leon's village? If you have the figure of Seath, go to Fai's place. Did you hear any good news? My grandson, Raffi, is no good. He should be a smart kid because he is my grandson, but I can't trust him and I don't give him expensive items. Speaking of expensive items. Really all you have that I'd like is those silver arms. If I saw a large shield, I'd love to be able to get down to it. Take my extra dagger. Okay. Let's try 
try that again. The soldiers from Veridite came and brought, uh, bought some weapons, but I don't think they will survive. I will buy something from you if you have valuable items. Okay, let's go find the crystal guy and then we'll call it there. Nope, that's the wrong way again. It's this way, over here. And then over here, all right. The bow is really useful still, says this guy. Alright, except I don't like arrows because they're... I don't care. <laughs> like... Uh... She's saying I get 64 arrows for one crystal and two crystal flask for two crystals. So I should have two crystal flasks on me right now. We'll go ahead and make four more. Yeah, they just made four. Oh no, that's just telling me how many I already had. Okay, right. Well, thanks, guy. Okay, so... We'll go ahead... Remember where I'm going. We'll... We're gonna go ahead and save, call it here. Uh, I don't know if I found anything, so... We're gonna go find something to kill real quick. Um, Alright, you know what, I'll just take care of a few things off camera. So, um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kill something just so that my experience count is a different total. Um, so I can tell my saves apart. Um, and I'm going to go back down to the fountains to restore or uh, refill all of my flask and get my mana back up to full and everything. Um, so I'll take care of that off camera and then I'll come back up to save at this save point and that is going to be it for me for tonight. So thank you very much for watching. I've been Bryce, this has been VHS Play, and have yourself a lovely evening.